Hello and welcome to the News from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the World Government Summit, held remotely under the patronage of the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Highness participated alongside UAE Minister of Culture and Knowledge Development, Noura Al Khabi. The summit attracts world leaders and speakers, an elite of experts and specialists, a number of officials of international organizations and business leaders. His Highness spoke in a session titled The Next Decade with Youth Leadership, where he said that the Kingdom, with the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, has given the Bahraini youth opportunities and prominent leading positions, which affirms Bahrain's keenness to empower the youth, adding that this was translated by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in highlighting the position of the Bahraini youth within Team Bahrain and empowering them in various fields. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the world is facing many great challenges posed by the coronavirus pandemic, which is an opportunity to learn how to deal with future challenges that may occur. He highlighted the great efforts exerted by young people in various countries in containing the challenges and repercussions imposed by the pandemic. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also noted that diverse and innovative platforms must be created to communicate with young people in a better way to plan the desired future based on placing the youth at the forefront and in leading positions. He asserted the importance of investing in young people and supporting them because they will be the main pillar supporting development. During his participation, His Highness also presented many ideas and visions on empowering the youth and the importance of instilling the love for knowledge, exploration and creativity and emphasising the role in building nations. The full interview with His Highness Sheikh Nasser will be broadcast following the news bulletin. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met virtually with the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Mouayed, along with various officials from the Ministry in order to present its achievements and its strategies for the coming period. His Highness affirmed that the Bahraini youth enjoy the full support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Whole discourse continues to affirm the importance of the youth in various fields as a key component in building the future of the Kingdom. He also affirmed the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the youth in all fields, including through the government programme, in which various initiatives are intended to empower the youth to contribute to its ability to innovate and contribute to the Kingdom's development. He said that the youth have made great strides in all fields in 2020, which represents a turning point in the history of the Ministry. His Highness said that 2021 represents a new challenge for the Ministry thanks to the pandemic. He expressed his full confidence that the Ministry will meet all its challenges as it did in 2020, especially in light of its many initiatives that prove the youth is forward-looking. During the meeting, His Highness reviewed the Ministry's achievements of 2020 and its effects in the field of youth and sports. The Ministry also presented its vision for the year 2021 through various initiatives and programmes. For his part, Amoyaya expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for support for the Ministry, whose vision and achievements are due to the support of His Highness. Bahrain has qualified for the Under-21 World Volleyball Championship, which will be held from September the 23rd to October the 3rd in Italy and Bulgaria. The Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also congratulated His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the achievement paying tribute to His Majesty the King for his support to the sections of the youth and sports in the Kingdom. He hailed the vision of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to develop the sports sector and implement the instructions of His Majesty the King to enable Bahrain sports people to achieve. He extended congratulations to Bahrain Volleyball Association Chairman Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Board of Directors. 
BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received retired Major General Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa and retired Major General Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Commander in Chief presented to them the Medal of Excellence in appreciation of the distinguished efforts, sincere dedication, and diligence in their duties and tasks during their tenure. Defence Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassam Al Nuwaymi and Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Thea bin Saga Al Nuwaymi were present. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Nuwaymi, patronised a virtual forum in celebration of the Gulf Day for Giftedness and Creativity in the presence of a number of talented students in various fields, including those with special needs, as well as a number of specialists in the field of excellence and talent in the ministry. Al Nuwaymi hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to education and the ministry. He emphasised the Ministry's keenness on implementing the initiatives of the National Project for the Development of Education and Training. On this occasion, Al Nawemi praised talented students and hailed the national efforts to discover and nurture talent and creativity in the Kingdom. The Minister of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, said that the Ministry has taken a number of steps to achieve sustainability food security in the Kingdom in line with the Royal Directives. He affirmed that food security is high on the Government's agenda thanks to the Directives of His Majesty the King and his keen interest in this important area. He said that the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources is looking for the best possible methods to ensure food security with a special focus on prawns as they represent a key source of food. The Minister also affirmed the importance of regulating the process of fishing to protect sustainability of marine resources. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqal al-Hamar, gave a media briefing on the Kingdom of Bahrain's most prominent housing achievements since the beginning of 2021, which was organised by the National Communication Centre as part of a series of remote government media briefings. Al-Hamar affirmed the continuation of efforts to come up with innovative housing solutions to provide social housing through plans, initiatives and programmes that achieved the Royal Order to build 40,000 housing units and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute 5,000 housing units. He also affirmed that the Ministry's framework is to adhere to the Government's plan in this regard. Eftaham Al Shamlan has been recognised by Aviation Business magazine among 10 of the most influential and promising women currently working in the Middle East aviation industry. Epsalam has more than 33 years' experience in civil aviation and has climbed the ladder to become Bahrain's first ever female assistant undersecretary of air transport and aviation safety and security at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication. To speak more about that, we are joined on the phone by Ms. Ibsalam Asalam. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on being chosen among the 10 most influential and promising women in the Middle East aviation industry. Tell us about the empowerment of Bahraini women in general and in the aviation field in particular. Thank you. Good evening to everyone. First of all, I wish to express my sense of thanks to our respective government and Bahrain TV, which recognizing that comprehensive development cannot be achieved without active participation of women. Bahrain women have been assumed leading position in various uh, fields of work, and the government actively seeks that to integrate women's need in national strategies. This is mainly based on the support provided by Her Highness Sheikh Hasibicha bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Chairman of Supreme Women Council. As you fully know that women in Bahrain nowadays occupied high rank positions. She became a chair of parliament, minister, judge, ambassador, under secretary and various rank positions. With regard to the women in aviation industry, 
His Highness Minister Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed, Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, is fully supported to the woman in general and her participation in aviation field and particular this enhanced her participation in all aviation activities. Now we have many women work as a pilots, aircraft engineers, air traffic controllers, air transport specialists and other specialist area in aviation and testing. Thank you. Tell us about your responsibilities in the national aviation field and how can you further encourage women in this sector? Yeah, I start my career in civil aviation and air transport, as you mentioned, since 33 years ago. And that time I did my best to prove that the ability of women to work and succeed in aviation field. Then I have promoted to the position of director of air transport which is responsible for all inland uh, uh, schedule approval, economic, commercial, and regulation of the air service agreements between the Kingdom of Bahrain and other states. Uh, during that period, we concluded many bilateral air service uh, 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 agreements in order to offer traffic rights needed for our national carriers to participate in air transport and other, with other states. And also, I chair the Bahrain Aviation Environment Committee. And now, you know, aviation industry is the friendly environment. Over the three years for the development of the Kingdom of Bahrain State Action Plan, mainly to ensure sustainable air traffic growth with less aviation activity emission on the environment. And in the addition, I chair GCC Council Air Transport Committee almost 10 years ago. Then I have been uh, promoted to uh, Assistant Under Secretary of Air Transport and Aviation Safety and Security. My key responsibility at that stage are uh, uh, aircraft registration, run-from certification, pilots, aircraft engineers, and other personnel licensing, in the addition to oversight and, over, uh, and audit all stakeholders as a regulator to ensure the effective implementation of international aviation safety and security. This is in the addition I represent the Kingdom of Bahrain in international conferences and deliver Bahrain experience working paper on civil aviation industry. Always I encourage women to a new generation woman to join this interesting field through providing adequate training and delegate them to perform very critical tasks and supporting them to make a proper decision making. And I am very keen to enhance their capabilities for all staff, junior women through build a second level of a staff who can lead this aviation industry can thank lead the work in the future. Thank you so much. Manage. And that yeah. was Assistant Under Secretary of Air Transport and Aviation Safety and Security and the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Ms. Ibsalam Al Shamlan. The Crown Prince's International Scholarship Programme, the CPISP, has begun accepting applications for its 2022 scholarship programme. Bahraini students enrolled in Grade 11 or equivalent are set to graduate from school in 2022 and have a grade point average of 97% or above for Grade 10 and Grade 11 are welcome to apply on the 25th of March. Qualifying applicants must submit an application form available on the CPISP website at www.cpisp.bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain is marking Traffic Week 2021 through a campaign entitled In a Second to promote traffic awareness as well as highlighting further developing e-services and enhancing partnership with the public. To speak more about this, we are joined by Head of the Media and Publishing Division and the General Directorate of Traffic, Captain Fayez Amin. Hello Captain Fayez. Good evening, uh, Mr. Keith. Thank you for covering the annual Traffic Week event and hosting us uh, on your news feed. It's a pleasure. Mark in Traffic Week 2021, what do you tell our viewers and what should they do to ensure safety on the road? Hey, yeah. Uh, this year, the Traffic Week uh, witnessed uh, intensive media coverage without any gathering in order to apply uh, the cautionary measures. 
for the prevention of the coronavirus. And uh, before uh, I begin uh, providing, uh, providing advice, uh, we are available on all Arabic, English, and Indian radio stations uh, to achieve safety for all uh, road users. Uh, for your safety, uh, we ask you to always uh, follow the traffic regulations, uh, adhere uh, to the roads, speed limits, and um, to not use uh, the phone while uh, driving and uh, the general uh, director of traffic wishes you uh, safety on the road. Thank you. And that is Head of Media and Publishing Division at the General Directorate of Traffic, Captain Fayez Amin. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 310,644 individuals had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 203,915 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,218, with 617 recoveries, 545 registered new cases and two deaths. 214 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 322 are contacts of active cases and nine are travel-related. The deceased were two female citizens aged 74 and 68. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.